Due to mature subject matter, viewer discretion is advised. Central is three facilities in one. There's the intake center, where new arrivals are processed. But the largest section of Central is reserved for high security male inmates. Jeremy Bowles has been here for the past two years, facing an array of very serious charges. When it comes to crime, when it comes to different things, I don't have no boundaries. As long as it's not hurting kids, not hurting pregnant women, I'm up for all. Two years ago, he was a free man for 16 days, an eventful, 16 days. I went to the beach for the first time in my life. <laughs> That's about the only thing I did positive out there. Bowles allegedly spent much of the rest of the time on a crime spree that resulted in his latest arrest. The most serious charges include multiple counts of home invasion robbery and the attempted murder of a police officer during a shootout that followed a high-speed chase. He's from this particular gang in LA, Sarzana. It means the city in hell, meaning that cause as much mayhem and as much damage as you can. Through prison and through other incarcerations, he's really made connections with people from La Ame, from the Mexican Mafia. Them people to me are the same people as me, meaning Mexican Mafia. A lot of people live in fear with them. Me, personally, I never did. It was something I kind of grew up with. Jeremy Bowles, to me, is the ultimate chameleon. He basically could fit in anywhere. And with the relationship that he's made with the Mexican Mafia, he truly is capable of doing just about anything, including killing people. How many people have you killed? Oh, man, I like to just keep that to myself. A lot. <laughs> Enough that maybe I shouldn't be saying this on camera, but <laughs> just a lot. I didn't believe in drive-bys. I believed in knocking on people's door and walking in their houses. Anybody can pull a gun, you can look the other way, pull a trigger. You wake up the next day, you actually never see nothing. But to actually get up in somebody's face and do something to them, that's where you become numb. Once you do it once, you can do it for the rest of your life. Along with the dozens he's already facing, two new charges have just been filed, both for premeditated murder. I've never been charged with murder, and. It's kind of funny because I've been charged with everything else but that. Co-defendant severed from me so he could testify against me. And I understand what he's doing to save himself. Would I do it? I don't think so. But for each his own. What I don't understand is this is the life you sign up for. And you want to go get in trouble and then all of a sudden you can't take the heat and you turn around and you're going to go tell on everybody. It's like we just take an oath. For this to happen is very upsetting. Albert Briseño is the latest inmate on the move. He has been transferred from the Theo Lacey facility to the central jail, three miles away. Most inmates within the county jail are continuously on the move. We do have to screen and rescreen these inmates all the time. Basically, how I look at it is, who can play with who? Shortly after moving into his new cell, Briseño discovered his neighbor was an old childhood friend. Jeremy Bowles. I recognized the tattoos. And then when he got up, I said, man, what's up, G? Me and Albert Rosino have been around each other for like the last 22 years. We're neighbors in juvenile hall. Briseño and Bowles are not only old friends, they share long criminal histories. They're considered among the most dangerous and violent inmates in the entire jail. Because of that, they will never have physical contact. Inside their cells, the sinks provide the best sound transmission and serve as low-tech intercoms. It's good to see you again, though, man. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, you want to play chess or what? Yeah, you want to play some chess? Next to 34, check. Go ahead and move that way. They have a very good relationship, a good rapport with each other. Queen takes night. Let's see where you go with this. They're relatively happy and comfortable with each other. That's it, huh? That's me. Got me. 
I found out for the first time my mom died of a brain aneurysm on Monday. I also found out that my uncle passed away of heart failure uh, yesterday. My uncle was my best friend. He was always trying to help me, trying to get me to go down a good path. My uncle was like, he's just everything to me. Not only did Bowles run out of corners to push away the crimes of his past, he's decided to come to terms with them. Though he had earlier alluded to having committed murder, he decided to reveal to us the stunning magnitude of his homicidal past. I remember 29 murders in detail, from times, dates, places, from caliber weapons, methods used. You know, I remember the sounds of people begging for their lives. I remember people saying no. I remember the smell of blood. I mean, they say you're a psychopath murder after three people and a serial killer. We got done balling that one out of the water quite a few times. Bull says his first murder occurred at age 13 and that he used a variety of methods to kill. I used everything from bats to all kinds of zip ties is pretty, pretty devious. Bowles not only spoke to us about the 29 murders, he spoke to jail officials as well. After spending some time with Jeremy Bowles, he's basically confessed to my partner and I that he has committed numerous murders in numerous different ways. One murder was described to us. He used some form of a liquid from the anarchist cookbook, and he was able to basically burn somebody so bad that they died. Bull says the victim was a childhood friend who was gang accused of being an informant. We went to the funeral and all that, and I'm just sitting in the funeral, and nobody in the whole funeral. I felt like the Grim Reaper, just sitting there, looking at the person I just killed, sitting in the victim. was shot at four times, face and chest area. Brisenio's childhood friend, Jeremy Bowles, will likely never see freedom again either. One more time to hit. After confessing to 29 murders, Bowles has been asked by jail officials to detail the killings in writing. As the details come forward, our chain will basically be to gather all the information from him as much as possible, documented on paper. It's too late. I'm here in Calipatria State Prison. I've uh, been here about a year. Uh, I'm here on multiple life sentences uh, for, for murder to robbery. Uh, I'm in the process of changing my life and looking to a whole nother light so I can be free in here.